welcome back guys and uh, today we are going to see how to configure the SDK config file and uh, we will be uh, seeing uh, two different methods to configure that so basically there are two uh, methods to configure SDK config file the first one is to use an external tool uh, which is a CMC's config tool which comes uh, along with the SDK and uh, it's uh, present if we go in the NRF SDK and uh, we go in the external tools we can see there is an external tool already available here it's called CMC's configuration wizard so so the guys we're today let's see how we configure the SDK config file in both ways so first of all we will use the direct method so open the Sagar Embedded Studio it's going to open the previously opened project file and uh, we can see here is the SDK config.h file so just open this file and as you can see there are a lot of different uh, constants here defined for different functions and uh, uh, we, we can uh, activate some functions and we can deactivate some of them so the direct uh, in this direct method for ex for example if i have to enable uart so i just press control plus f find and uh, just look for uart and here you can see it's it's telling uart config log enabled and it's zero basically the zero tells it's disabled so if i change it to one it's going to enable the uart config log file uh, so basically this is going to enable the uart logging so we can uh, log our data to a uart port so it's really useful so this is the direct method and uh, once done you press ctrl plus s to save and then you can use these functions in the main uh, in the main file you can use these all different functions the next method let me change it back to zero because i don't need it now and uh, the second method for the log is uh, we use an external tool and uh, to use the external tool uh, we have to configure it with the sagar embedded studio so first of all go to file then go to open studio folder and click on the external tool configuration here you can see there is an XML file which is called tools.xml and the uh, Nordic guys have already created uh, some XML code for this so so it's uh, easy to just put the code inside this so to do that we just have to put our code inside this function to put our code I have uh, some code here in this file so I will share this file in the description of this video so you can uh, just copy and paste it so just simply copy this all code so just uh, we have to paste that code uh, inside make sure inside this file and make sure it's before this tools okay so just paste here our code and uh, this input path is already configured so we don't need to worry about anything else and we just press ctrl and s to save it and to use this tool we have to restart our Sagar embedded studio so I will quit it and then start it again and uh, here now this tool is configured so if I if I want to change some of the functions for from for for NRF SDK I will right click and go here CMC's configuration wizard and here you go you can see the CMC's configuration wizard is opened if I go into NRF libraries I can find different libraries here printf and uh, we can just enable or disable anything for example let me disable this nrf f printf enabled this is useful if we are using a rtt library uh, for debugging so uh, we have to disable this option 
I click here and it's disabled and I click on the save. If I want to exit this I can or if I don't want to I just minimize it and it says file has been modified externally so we have to reload this file so basically I just click yes and the file is reloaded and reconfigured this is the second method uh, to configure the sdk.config file I hope so this will be useful for our future projects configurations one thing to keep in mind is that sdk configuration file does not contain all the configurations uh, because uh, some of the configurations are not always needed so to add those configurations basically you can just go to C directory where we extracted our NRF SDK go in the SDK and then here we will uh, go in the config file and uh, whichever your microcontroller is for example my is uh, my microcontroller is NRF52832 so I open this go in the config and I open the configuration file and this contains all the configurations so if there are some configurations which are missing from the project file in in this configuration you can just uh, look for those configuration from here and just copy and paste them uh, that's the fastest way uh, maybe for you this would be really helpful uh, because uh, when you are modifying the project and sometimes you won't find the configuration stuff uh, in the config file dot h so basically every all the configurations are present in this file so you can just copy from here but never modify this file because uh, if you modify this and uh, by some mistake you delete some of the configuration uh, it's going to cause uh, some problems in the future that's it for today guys i hope so you enjoyed the video and uh, i hope so you have learned some new stuff about nrf sdk see you in the next video thank you very much